Hello. Long time no see. I've forgotten how to talk to a camera, so you'll have to excuse my awkwardness. Not that I'm not awkward in all my other videos, but I'm back in America. I haven't been posting on here very much, but I have a good excuse. I've been trying really hard not to die for the last month and a half. And I've been feeling so not good that it's been hard for me to really pick up a camera. But now that I'm feeling better, I thought I would finally sit down and explain myself. This is kind of a long story, but I'll try to condense it. This is the story of how I almost died in Bali. A little over a month ago, I left the island I was on in Thailand because I was kind of depressed and I just wanted something different. It's 6 a.m. Going to catch a boat to the mainland and then flying to Bangkok and then from Bangkok to Bali again for a minute. My plan was I was gonna go to Australia because I've always wanted to go to Australia. I was so close to it being already on that side of the world. I was like, I should just go now because I might never get this chance again. So I was gonna go to Australia. And the cheapest way to do that from Thailand was to fly to Bali before flying to Australia rather than just flying directly from Thailand to Australia. I was gonna go to Bali, spend a couple weeks there, and then I was gonna go to Australia. But obviously this, this all didn't work out because I'm not in Australia. I wish I was in Australia. Could be chilling with a kangaroo right now, but I went back to Bangkok, which is where the big airport in Thailand is. I made it to Bangkok and I'm staying in this hotel. It's like the nicest place I've stayed in a while. They have Powerpuff Girls on the TV. I have a shuttle in a few minutes to the airport and then I'll be in Bali tonight. And I get to see Laura. I'm so excited. And I spent a night there before flying to Bali. My first few days in Bali were great. I got to see my friend Laura and she was pregnant and she taught me all about being pregnant. I've never had a pregnant friend before. How many times can I say pregnant in the same sentence? Hello. Anyways, we went on a bunch of adventures in Bali and did fun Bali things, which I vlogged a little bit of. And then the less good part happened or started to happen. A few days or maybe like a week into being in Bali, I started to get this really bad pain in like my neck and the back of my head. And I thought maybe I just slept weird or something, but it was lasting for days and it wasn't going away. So I went to a massage place. I've always kind of been scared of massages, but I was kind of desperate because I was in a lot of pain. And it didn't help at all. I think it just made things worse because afterwards I was in even more pain. The next day I started losing my appetite. It got to the point where I literally couldn't eat anything at all without vomiting. And then I got a fever and I got chills and sweats and I felt so awful. I still couldn't eat. I could barely even leave my hotel room. At this point, Laura wasn't in Bali anymore. So I was on my own and I didn't know what to do. So I kind of just rested and hoped that it would go away. As somebody with cystic fibrosis, every time I get sick, I develop a cough. And of course it happened this time too, but luckily I had brought antibiotics with me. And so I started taking them. Eventually after a few days, the fever went away and my cough started to get better but the problem was I still couldn't eat. I was getting really dizzy because at this point I hadn't eaten in like a week and I could barely even keep down water or juice or anything. So I ended up going to a clinic in Bali to make sure I didn't have malaria or typhoid or something serious like that and they did a blood test and everything came back normal. So that was kind of slightly reassuring but I still couldn't eat. Couldn't even really walk down the street without vomiting. There was one night where I went out to try to get 
water. And the water place was just down the street from the hotel. And I tried to walk there. And every few steps, I would just throw up on the sidewalk. And this massage lady came out and like started rubbing my back while I threw up all over the sidewalk. It's kind of embarrassing. After like two weeks of not being able to eat anything, I called my American doctor and I told her what was going on. She was obviously very concerned and she wanted me to try to get home so that I could go to my hospital back in Massachusetts. I didn't know how I was gonna survive a 33 hour plane ride to get home. It's hard to describe this without you being me and feeling what I was feeling, but I actually thought I was dying. I had gotten so weak and I was so dizzy and I'd lost so much weight and I just, I don't know, I just felt like really really awful. I somehow survived the flight home. I had two layovers and it felt like the longest flights of my life but I managed to land in Boston alive and I went to the emergency room and I was admitted into the hospital and they gave me IVs and they did all of these tests but they never figured out what was wrong. I had lost around 20 pounds which is kind of a lot for me. I was just really not looking good or doing good and I left the hospital still unable to eat but I just kept resting and slowly my appetite started to come back so over the last month I've been just trying to regain my strength and eat and gain weight. It's been really difficult because I've been really, really tired. But yeah, that's what happened. I almost died, but I didn't. It could have been like food poisoning something. There was some sort of toxin in me that my body was desperately trying to get rid of. I don't know why I wasn't able to eat for so long. I don't know why any of that happened, but I guess I wasn't meant to go to Australia just yet. Anyways, that's my story. That's why I haven't been posting very much. I've just been trying not to die. Please forgive me. I'm doing a lot better now. I'm eating. I'm becoming a normal functioning human again. Be careful if you're traveling. Be careful what you eat. Learn from my mistakes. I don't even know what my mistake was, but learn from it anyways. Don't almost die like me because it's not fun. Not fun at all. Thanks for listening if you listened this far. I hope that you're having a great day wherever you are in the world. I feel like I almost die too often and it's kind of like the boy who cried wolf you guys are just waiting for me to actually die but when I actually die you're gonna not even care because of the amount of times that I've already almost died never mind I don't know what I'm saying I will see you in the next video and I promise it'll be less depressing okay bye